have generated the value of e is 15 and here the value of t val is 4 so after addition them we have generated the e val is 9 so from this child this value is generating to the top that's why I said that uh, synthesized attributes generate value from child to the parents it is from bo uh, bottom to the top now those are some description you can may have snap of this one now inherited attributes the inherited attributes can take value from all other siblings parents and anyone here is the production and semantic rules for this we have to generate a tree suppose we have generated this tree but this is not very ideal so we'll move to the next now dependency graph dependency graph is a graph that show the dependency of each uh, to the everyone now dependency graph a tends to x y that means that a is generated by x y the value of x and y are sent to the a then the a generates the value this is the dependency of a to the x and y and this is the example of another one now here the value e val is generated by e1 and e2 val so this is also a dependency graph now construction of syntax tree for example okay now we will construct a syntax tree with example here we will use some functions here first function is mk node which is uh, occupied with op means operations means plus minus multiplication division etc and left is the left side and right is the right side the next function is mk leaf leaf means the last node which have id and entry entry is to enter the identity and the another one is mk leaf with number and val number is the number and val is the value of this number for this we can generate a tree here we have consider p1 p2 till p5 are pointers to nodes and entry a and c are pointers to the symbol table with identifier a and c so those are the pointers with functions now we need to generate this tree for this syntax tree a minus 4 plus c first of all we need to generate a so how we will generate this a we can see from this function that we have id then to enter the identity so a is here a id so we will use the mklif id then here we will enter the value a and now here we have 4 so this is the number section and this is the value of this number which is mklif number val which is number and the value of this number is 4 then what we will need to do we need to submit them so for submission we will use this function which is operation left and right so we need to write the left side first so this is the left side and we need to write it here and then this is the right side so we need to write it there and then the operation is minus which is situated there and now we will need to generate C so how we will generate C with ID and entry so here ID and entry the C so now we need to so now we have generated this section and separately this section so now we need to add them so we use another operation with operator plus the left side and the right side to generate this so in the p1 section which is the first section this p1 section is this one then the p2 section which is number which is this one then the third section is this one which is that one and now the ID entry which is this section so now all are completed and then the final task that MK node plus P3 and P4 the P3 of value and P4 value are added in the P1 section with this one so that's how this diagram completes so that's how we generate and construct a syntax tree for example 
this one is very important for examination you need to have a snap of this example okay that's for today thank you